Hey guys, Pom Pom Polished here, here with another swatching video. Um, I did a haul video for this not too long ago. It's my February polish pickup. Um, the theme popped right on my brain, so I apologize for that. Um, but I put it in my haul video, so if you're curious or if you search online for the February 2021 polish pickup, you'll find the theme there. Um, anywho. We're just gonna go ahead and swatch these polishes. You'll notice my nails are done. I actually just got them done not too long ago um, so that I could paint them. I don't put gel polish on my acrylics because then I can't polish with my own polish because then you gotta try to take gel polish off and I'm not interested in all that business. So um, these are acrylic nails. My nails, because I work in the healthcare industry, do not grow. Um, they peel and break, peel and break, peel and break, repeat. Um, I have tried a lot of things on my nails to try to get them better. Um, it was some success, um, but nothing that I could keep up long term. Um, and so I felt like I was constantly putting um, polish, like treatments on my nails and never actually polishing them. So it was a total drag. So I decided I'm not gonna do it. So I went ahead and went to the salon this week and because I'm on vacation, on a staycation, um, and got my nails done. So it is what it is. There's mixed feelings about acrylic nails. You can decide what you want on that. Um, so the first polish I'm painting is Painted Flanges, and it's called Almost Home, and it is a beautiful gray color, which you can see all the different color changing flakies there. Um, don't come after me if I don't know what kind of flakies they are, if I describe them wrong. I just look at the bottles and I'm like, ooh, pretty colors. You know, it's like I'm not a professional. These polishes are all polishes that I buy. I wish I was so famous as to get polishes in the mail. That'd be awesome. So Painted Flanges, almost home. And if you've watched me do swatch videos before, I go a couple in advance here and get a couple first swatches down and we'll go back and do second swatches, sometimes third swatches. I'm not a huge fan of third swatches because I don't typically paint three swatches or three trips on my fingernails because I find that it's hard to get it to dry properly without me messing it up. So you can see this next one is beautiful. It's Zombie Claw and this is going to be Hot and Bothered. And this is beautiful turquoise teal base color with all these multi-shifting flakies in there. It is like gorgeous. And we're gonna pop this down here. And this is how I catalog my polishes. So you'll see a number on my wheel and it corresponds with the number on the polish bottle. And that is how. Now that is a nice lay of color and flakes. Sorry, totally forgot to show you guys. So this is that almost home. And this is this new one here, hot and bothered. And you can see the pretty gray one has a really, it's kind of neat, like almost neutral meets funsies, I don't know. This one just seems like a pretty spring color. I'm a sucker for blues. I'm a sucker for blues that are colorful, which sounds strange, but what I mean is like with the colorful flakies in there. So I'm gonna put one more first swatch down. This one is gonna be damn nail polish. This is gonna be sunsets and chili. No, sunsets and chill. My gosh, I can't read today, people. Sunsets and chill. Good chill, man, chill. And this is just a beautiful shimmer polish. No flakies there. And it shifts kind of orange, pink, purple. Almost a magenta color in the background there. Now you might be wondering, Stacy, why are you bothered going through all of this? Because polish pickups passed and we can't get those polishes anyways. Nah, friend, all you gotta do is go on to one of Polish Pickup's Facebook websites, fan pages, and put it in, in search of. People are destashing their polishes constantly and always willing to get rid of some. And uh, so, if you put one of those in there, a lot of times you'll get what you're looking for. I've done it before. I did not pick up any polishes for March, and I don't plan on picking up any for April. There was a few in March that I really, really wanted, but I missed the deadline on them. And April's polish pickup just doesn't speak to me. It's 90s themed, which is really cool, but when I looked at the stuff, it just didn't, didn't like flip my trigger. There might be a couple in there that I might just snatch quick, and then there was like a cool Z magnet. Um, and then also a, one of my favorite um, uh, cuticle oil 
vendors also has cuticle oil up for grabs. Now this polish, this painted flanges is a little bit thick, thicker formula, which is fine, but you might find that it's a little harder to dry. Um, they do on polish pickup a lot of times, or especially most recently, they'll offer something like a talon, oh gosh, what's it called? It's basically a thinner, a polish thinner um, that you can use that is really cool. Now this is two coats in and I'm not, I wouldn't need to put a third coat in, that's completely opaque with two coats. And you can see those flakies in there, it's super pretty. Just that really pretty gray color with kind of just a flip of fun. If you were in the sun, you'd definitely be able to really pick out those flakies, those are really pretty. Um, anyways, that are safe for these polishes, which is kind of nice um, if you can buy it that way so that you know what you're getting yourself into. And if you have questions, a lot of times those people that are making things on the polish pickup sites are more readily available to ask questions, which is nice too. And almost all of them have their own sites that you can go to to find other polishes and their releases. And uh, yeah, a lot of them have these products and other scents and things like that. So this is this. So that was Almost Home by Painted Flanges. And this was Zombie Claw Hot and Bothered. And that's really pretty. It's a really pretty blue color. That's a pretty, a bit of fun spring summer color. Boy, if you were tan, a lot of these colors would look so cool. So this is a damn nail polish color, it's really pretty. This is kind of a quintessential summer color. That shift is pretty. Anyways, so that's my story on that. Um, polish Pickup does open up this Friday, April 2nd and runs through Monday at midnight. Um, they were in wish list mode, but I believe that's finished now. Um, if you can ever get on early enough to do wish lists, it makes it kind of convenient because then on the day that you want to buy your stuff, you can put in all the items, any of the items you want. So if you want like lotions of immortality or you're looking for the um, magnets or sometimes they'll have pens and sometimes they have jewelry and all kinds of cool stuff on there. Um, if you get on there and put them in your wish list, then there's a button in the wish list that says move all to cart. And it just makes your shopping experience super easy. There's also a, um, a really convenient way to be able to put all the polishes and things that you want in there and then be able to reference back to them to sort of whittle it down because a lot of us can't afford to buy a bajillion nail polishes every single month. And if you're like me, your collector, you can see this is polish number two, or excuse me, 333. So I have a lot of polishes in my collection. I have several bins of them. Um, I keep mine in two-sided clear containers that have a, a slot for each polish. And um, I have several of those in my closet, much to my husband's dismay. Um, but there's not his closet, so he doesn't have anything to say about it. But anyway, um, but essentially... You know, it's a lot of polishes. This is another reason why a lot of people do de-stashes because like me, they collect a ton, a ton, ton of polishes. And I have a, probably a pretty small amount compared to a lot of people that do collect polishes. So this is also opaque on two coats. This is a gorgeous sunsets and chill. This is a super pretty color for summer. Again, a lot of these colors, the tanner you are, the better they're gonna look. But white skin folks like me, like super white skin folks like me, um, they look good on me too. So I mean, it is, it is what it is. I just wear whatever colors I think are pretty, just regardless. But some people are particular like that, so I guess I always like to mention it. This is gonna be Hearts and Promises. This is gonna be Sunset at Big Sur. This one struck me because it's almost like a navy blue base. Just wait till you see it here. See this navy blue base, and then it has this beautiful shift and it reminds me kind of of, a, of aurora borealis if any if you all know what that is it's like the light shifts that you can see in like alaska and whatnot see that really pretty colors in there so this navy blue base it almost looks purple but it's navy blue base it just just gets me i love navy blue bases and so after every layer it's gonna get darker and darker so 
This is the first coat in. It's very shimmery. You can't see hardly any shift on this first layer down, really. So we'll have to wait till we do swatch number two. That might be a three swatcher, but the polish is real, it's more of a thin, thinner formula. So that would be one that I wouldn't mind doing a, a third coat on because if, if they lay down thin coats, then it's easier to dry. This one's gonna be Shark Bait by Rogue Lacquer. And I am a sucker for sharks and the ocean. And so this just seemed like a duh moment for me when I went shopping on this one. Ooh, now that is laying down some very pretty. Looks like literally those flakes in this, I thought maybe it was just like glitters, but it's actually little chunks of flake in there and it makes it look like crushed up tin foil. Anyway, you'll see here. Isn't that pretty? That is really pretty. Now it is probably more purple on camera. They usually do. Um, it's definitely a true blue base with the turquoise teal to shifting a green flake. And it literally looks like little crushed up pieces of tin foil. Reminds me of Jim, the water in Jamaica when we were there last year. Oh, trying to think of vacation places that would be safe. I'm going to take our kids. My husband really wants to go to Florida. This is Ultra Ego, and this is going to be Redwood Beaches, Redwood Reaches for the Sun. And I could not pass this up. This was the most beautiful brown terracotta color with these blue green shifty flakies, or excuse me, glitters, shimmer, micro glitter, whatever those are. If you're more knowledge about me, knowledgeable about me to polish additives, feel free to correct me when I'm wrong. Um, I've temp been tempted in the past to cover all these up with clear coats because that's how I always wear them. Oh, that's pretty. Another thinner polish formula. If you hear that chinking, that's my dog scratching at his dish because he thinks he needs mid-afternoon lunch, I guess. I don't know. My dog's kind of, uh, he's not super chubby, but he's a Pomeranian and he weighs about 14 pounds, which is about four pounds, probably more than he should, really. With a bad knee. But anyway, I digress. And we've been trying to just be really cognizant about when we're feeding him. And he don't care. He don't care. It's no shame in his game. He'll just dig at his dish until I give him more food until he drives me crazy. There's that. Redwood reaches for the sun. Super pretty. Um, so we're going to put the second coat down on the sunset at Big Sur. Ooh. Now you're seeing more of that navy come out. That's Hearts and Promises, Sunset at Big Sur. And we'll probably put a third coat on that one just to see for funsies what that turns out with a third coat. But that's two coats in here. It's really pretty. There's definitely a purple navy. If we can build it up to get it a little darker, that would be ideal. We'll put a second one of Rogue Lacquer Shark Bait. Let's see what we get for a lay of flakies on this one. Eventually my daughter's gonna be coming home from school, so I'm sure there'll be a commotion when that happens. Between her, well, coming through the front door and the my dog becoming a crazy thing. Ooh, now there we go. Now that is a nice, full lay of flakies and now you can see that better blue color coming out that is really pretty that is a gorgeous i don't know if i might be in i have little fishies nipping at your toes that was just kind of real sparkly <clears throat> if you're going on a summer vacation 
I live in South Dakota. I say somewhere warm. It gets warm here, but it's different. South Dakota hits different, people. Nothing's quite... It, nothing here is quite the same as anywhere else. It was like a 70 degree day the other day, and it was like 30 the next day. You just, you know, during this time of the year, you basically just keep out all of your wardrobes. You just sort of dip into your fall, spring, and winter. And then sometimes you even pop in a bit of summer because I don't know about you if people who live anywhere else, but when it gets warm here and it it's, and it's, hits above 50, we're like in shorts and like tank tops. You know what I mean? Like we're enjoying that shit. We're enjoying that shit right now, you know, because it's like, you never know what the next day is going to bring. 21 mile an hour winds and a 32 degrees. Everything's frosted again. It's just insane. So this is so pretty. This is really turning out to be a really pretty terracotta color with this blue green shifting micro shimmer, it looks like, or micro glitters maybe. Um, but we'll do another th a third coat of that one too because... Um, I'd be interested to see what that one does with you build up one more quote again It was another one of those thinner formulas. So again, I don't have any problem doing that on a thinner formula polish There we go The third the third coat definitely did it on this one So again, this is hearts and promises sunset at Big Sur Super pretty polish. And in here it's shifting blue, green, purple. Like I said, kind of like an Aurora Borealis. On here you don't catch that unless you catch it in a certain um, angle. So it's gonna be tough for me to show on my phone camera if I'm being completely honest. But that's super pretty. Yeah. And let's do this last one of Redwood Reaches for the Sun by Alter Ego. This definitely deepened that up nicely. So that's definitely looking really pretty there. So good, and that's that brown terracotta -y color. Really any more brown than terracotta now um, after that third coat with this green blue micro situation. Beautiful, very, very beautiful, guys. Next, we have Bees Knees Lacquer Tartaros. This color is like stunning. Check that out. There's no way. This one was really tough to show when I did my haul video, and it's proving just as difficult here. If you saw it in the natural sunlight coming through my door, you'd be able to see like the green and the blue and the it's just very, very pretty polish. We're gonna shake this one good though. My dog is giving me the stink eye. So Bees Knees Lacquer Tartaros. I don't know what that means. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow. So this laid down a really pretty blue color. This is why I say you don't ever judge a polish by its bottle because you really have got to get it out of the bottle to see what, what it can do for you. Now this has the coolest little micro glitters. It's funny, I'm gonna focus on it. It's just super cool. Reminds me of little stars in a galaxy. All right, so here's this one here. Tartros. That's really pretty. Super pretty. Be interested in what future uh, coats does with that. Next one's gonna be <sighs> Jor, J I O R, Jor, Jor Couture. 
And this is just a cool, cool polish. It's showing up pretty true to color on camera there as I'm watching. That really pretty green, green, light green, turquoise to blue color shift. And this one is called How You Dune. How You Dune. Everybody knows Joey from Friends. How You Dune. This one's How You Dune. D U N E, like dune, like a sand dune. Ooh, even the polish on the wand is pretty. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, this is my kind of polish. A sucker for blue, sucker for green. Meet me in the middle. Yes, ma'am. That's this polish. Super pretty. Wow. Can't wait to see what um, building that color up is going to do. That's really pretty. So, Jure Couture. Next one we're going to add into this mix here is going to be Night Owl Lacquer. This is going to be Love Bridge. Love Bridge. And this is like a muted purple burgundy color with multi-shifting flakies. They're almost all different colors of the rainbow. Very pretty, pretty. Very pretty, pretty. When my kids come home, we're getting ready to go to Nana and Papa's for Easter, and so they've got a pack, and so that's always an adventure. And I haven't written out their packing list yet, so they're gonna be like, hey, eh, eh, eh. what do I pack? What do I pack? <clears throat> Ooh, this is really pretty. My dog just growled at me. That is really pretty. You can really see those multicolored flakies. This is gonna be really beautiful, um, built up. Un momento, por favor. We'll go back to Bees Knees Lacquer and Tartaros. And put a second coat down of this one. These are all three just stunning. I have a feeling once we build this up, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh my gosh. Ooh, this shit just got real. Go pick on two coats, people. That is gorgeous. Oh, you can see the deep blue purple color and then those light blue glitters in there. Just catches the lights. Just sticking in the light coming through my Sliding window is like, wow. That's really pretty. That's really pretty. I'm impressed. Again, this is why I watch people do swatch videos, which FYI, um, Fat Cat Polish had stopped doing swatch videos. I was so freaking sad. I cannot even tell you. And when I saw her um, uh, doing swatch videos for April Polish Pickup, I wrote... I commented on her video and I was like, this is like the best thing ever seeing you back on here. Seriously, she just does such a great job. She just, she knows the makers, she gets the polishes, she's super knowledgeable about them. She used to be a polish maker herself. It's just, look at that green with the turquoise, just almost halo around it, it's so pretty. That is my kind of polish color, wow. Really, really pretty. I love those mossy green colors. That's really pretty after two coats. All right, let's see what this Night Owl, oh, and that was How You Dune, Dune by Gior, J-I-O-R. <coughs> Gior Couture, C-O-U-T-U-R-E.com. Night Owl Lacquer, Love Bridge, the Love Bridge. Anyways, so she had a lot of fun with it, and so I saw her doing that. I was, like, so thrilled to see her pop up on my YouTube page. So she does YouTube videos, and that's where she does the majority of her swatch videos. Turns out she also swatched for Hella Handmade Creations, which I wish I'd have seen that one. Because, again, I always like to see them. You never want to judge a polish by the bottle, and sometimes the pictures on the site aren't as good as seeing somebody swatch in real life so you can see, like, how they have to work with the polish to make it look good live. Um, and she always does her swatch videos live, so that's a pretty big deal. Oh, this is really, really pretty, guys. This is a really pretty purple maroon color. It is almost a three-coater. 
but I think that you'd almost be okay with just two. It just kind of depends on how you like to lay your polish. I always say if you have short nails, you're not going to care about doing two or th whether you do two or three because it's not going to show up any better after three usually than two, except for sometimes it'll build the base color darker. Um, but if you have long nails where they're going to stick out past your fingernail and you don't like that cutoff where it's like darker to light, then you're going to want to do a third coat. So it really depends on how you like to wear your posh. We'll do a third coat to look at it here. But that is a really pretty purple burgundy color. Now my dog is is clinking at his sister's dish because he thinks that he's gonna have better better luck because it's closer to me. I don't know what he's doing with his life. This is Native War Paints. This is Lakeside Color Tour. And this is a really pretty turquoisey green blue color with just different multicolored. Flakies. It's really pretty. Lakeside Color Tour, which I thought was an interesting name for a couple finger nail polish. Anyway, so guys, I'm so excited that I get my nails in. One of the reasons is because I have wanted to st be able to stamp my nails for so long, and I know people do it with short nails, but I don't know how they can get a picture big enough you know, like to like show up big enough on their nail if their nails are little, you know what I mean? So I, I got the stamping stuff and I was just like, I'm just so disgusted by that. I just makes me angry. So that's another reason why I got my nails on. But anyway, and it isn't black. It's like a super pretty dark, dark purple color. Speaking of dark purple colors, this is Sassy, Sassy Cat Slacker, I'll read the name to you when I can tip the bottle upside down here in a second. This is like a black purple, so this will be interesting to see how this builds up. It's basically going to be a, like a black base with like a purple shift, I'm just guessing, is how this is going to look. It's not going to look like much on the first coat. This is going to take three coats. This is a thinner palish, so again, I, don't, I wouldn't have a problem doing that. This is called In New York. In New York, and it looks like a really pretty dark purple in here. It is definitely on a black base. You can tell, because when you look at here, you see the dark base that's gonna have to build. But that is really pretty, because then when you look at it from the side, you see a purple stripe. So that is how that is gonna lay. Let's put a third and final coat on of this Night Owl lacquer. And then we'll finish this nail wheel out, because this is the last ones that are gonna be able to go on this one. And I have another one already ready. Chunk, hunk a hunk a chunk of flake. Woo! That's what fat cat lacquer. That's the uh, fat cat polish that she always does when she gets a giant chunk of flaky on there. She always sang that song. Total girl crush, right? Total girl crush. Look, check out that chunk of flaky. And she does swatch videos before the polishes come out because she receives them, is gifted them by, um, as, as um, PR from the polish makers. Oh, my dog's just desperate now. He's making noises. This is so pretty. This is so pretty. Um, she's gifted them by the polish makers so that she can have access to them early. Now I can tell these next two polishes are both going to be three coaters, so... Okay, this is Native War Paints, Lakeside Color Show. Oh, that last one was Night Owl Lacquer, Love Bridge. Lakeside Color Show. Super pretty. And let's do another. I don't know if I'll have to do a third coat of that or not. <clears throat> we'll see. We'll see. My dog is just hardcore staring me down. Ooh. Yes. Now. I see your true colors shining through. 
Heck yeah. All right, this is gonna be gorgeous on a third coat. Just do wait for it. So this is coat number two of Sassy Cat Lacquer in New York. Check this out. So you see that purple stripe, right? That's where that color lay is going. It has that pretty dark black base. The next coat is gonna be like freaking magic. But to get the best, I need to let that dry for a hot second. So we're gonna go on to the next color wheel. I've got it all prepped and ready to go. I'm tempted to just let you guys hang out while I give my dog food so he can stop digging at his darn dish. On our last four polishes though, we're just gonna finish strong here. Polish number 342, you guys. 342, this is a flaky bomb. Another really pretty summer polish. I am a sucker for these polishes. I love anything with this turquoise to green or blue. So this is going to be Great Lakes Lacquer. Great Lakes Lacquer. Look at that. Zip. Beautiful. The Mighty Mac. The Mighty Mac. Check this out. So pretty. So pretty. No. Naughty dog. Scofflaw polish. Scofflaw nail polish. This is Lavande de Francaise. Or French lavender. My notably, notable years of high school French for no good reason. Because, you know, there's lots of need for people who speak French in South Dakota. Not. <laughs> Uh, for, I don't know why I didn't want to take Spanish. I, I took Spanish in college twice, and I still know nothing. <laughs> I don't know if maybe I was like that. For whatever reason, my brain is like not interested in foreign languages and refuses to retain anything I like learn at all. Now, this is super pretty, and I could not pass up this light purple with these really pretty green hexagon um, glitter flakes in there. It's just so pretty. So cool. It's just unique. I really liked it. It's got lavender um, bits of glitter also. That'll look really pretty as we build it up. All right, let's do a third and final coat just of this Native War Paints Lakeside Color Show so we can see what it looks like with our third coat on it. Basically, it just sort of makes it more milky. I guess is the biggest thing and then oop. and then uh, maybe just a little bit more you know uh just like a layered look to the flakes so it definitely darkened it up a bit it's definitely more of a you know a green kind of murky kind of like a lake might be you know i live where lakes and rivers are kind of murky that's really pretty though I like that. Okay, let's see what this third coat of this polish is gonna do. Now this is settled out and dried. It almost dried darker than it was. Let's see what the third coat does. I am waiting and willing and ready to be blown away. This is Sassy Cat's Lacquer in New York. Let's, oh, good gravy. Yes. I would wear this color all day, every day. So pretty. So freaking pretty, okay. This is just super unique. Cause you can tell it's on a black base. You know what I mean? This is a Halloween color. But I would wear it anytime. That is really neat. That black, black base almost ends up being like a, like a soft black. Not like a ink, like dark, dark black. My fingernails are more blackened than this polish is. But that purple just is like you're looking at it. It's almost like a purple glaze on top of an oil slick. It's just super neat. Just very, very different. Very unique. So that is, whoopsie. Yeah. That is our swatch wheel there. So that one gets set down to drive. And if, and if anybody's wondering how I store these, so I do have all 300 and little number of polishes on these polish wheels. And I just store them stacked like this. And I do not 
Some of them, like these all have been coated with a clear coat. Back when I kept clear coats, I didn't give a crap about, but I refused to use my good clear coats to, to cover nail swatches. Unless I'm trying to figure out whether or not it's, um, um, like if I want to make one matte or something like that to see what it'll look like. Uh-oh. Looks like some of my little numbers got. Sorry and for the intermission here real quick. <laughs> Not really sure how that happened. Me dinging around with them. Probably. I could like glue them down. They're sticking to plastic and so when they get jostled around, I'm sure it pulls up the edges of them. Anyways, that's how I store them. And I just stick them in a baggie and I put my clear, my plain ones behind them. And that's just how I store them. Nothing fancy. All right, last two polishes here. We'll get a single coat in on. This is gonna be Aurora. Aurora 5 Free, and this is gonna be Bridge to the Cinematic Universe. And this reminds me of the bridge in like Thor. Does it remind anybody else of that? So if anybody knows what I'm talking about that road into theirs, like, or like Rainbow, um, whichever Mario Kart is a rainbow thing. Reminds me of that kind of too. This, br I do not, I'm not a fan of their brushes. No lie, no shade. Um, Cause it's just this plain, like thin kind of brush. And it's, I like, I prefer wider fat, uh, paddle brushes. Personally, I feel like it gives me more bang for my buck as far as like a coat of polish goes. And so I just prefer them that way. Everybody's, you know, got their only thoughts on that. Okay, so this is just really pretty, super glittery, super different colory. Um, not a lot to see on the first coat. Um, the second coat's probably gonna give us a better show, showing of what it's got to offer. We can definitely see the multicolored. Okay. This is Lucky Charm by Fair Maiden. I love their little symbol. Reminds me of like a, the huntress. Like a woman on horseback with a bow. Oof, this is a pretty color. Now this came with little, cute little shamrock, gold shamrock charm things that you could glue into your nail polish. And I totally already put those away. So I'm not gonna dig them out right now, but that's, it was kind of cool that it came with those just as an added little bonus this really pretty mint green color with gold all throughout shimmer very pretty really like that a lot that's gonna look good this summer all right let's put a second coat of great lake slacker the mighty mac this is really all this one's probably gonna need this this is really a, a polish that you could be happy with like one coat and done Takes a little longer to dry when it has this much flakies in it. Keep that in mind also. The more you layer, the longer it takes, which whatever. I mean, when I'm doing my nail polish, it's usually because I have a couple hours I can devote to it just for funsies. So I like to push back my cuticles and do all the things. I'm a little bit excited about changing my nail polish on these big babies. That's really pretty. So the Mighty Mac by Great Lakes Lacquer. That is beautiful. Exactly what I would want to have on my toes if I was chilling in the summer. This is going to be Scarf Bar Polish. This is going to be Le Vin de Francaise. Scarf Bar always has a really cool and unique way of combining a color with these their their technique for adding glitter um, into the mix is kind of interesting. And so they always have a kind of a unique polish. They always come up with a pretty unique polish. I would say this is probably gonna need a third coat if you wanted it to be truly opaque with that lavender color, but that is super pretty. It's this one here. It's got the green hexagon. 
glitters in there. That's really, really pretty. So let's, then let's do um, Aurora, uh, Bridge to the Cinematic Universe. This is definitely a blackened polish. And the second coat, as I suspected, definitely better than the first coat, just because those glitters start to catch on each other and it lays more and more down. So a third coat will make it pretty much opaque. So this is really pretty. I think you can see all the colors. It's green, red, blue glitters. It's really pretty. And then some like micro flakies in there too. Hopefully you can see that. All right, second coat of Fair Maiden. I don't think that you, I don't think you need to do, shh. Sorry about that. I don't think you're gonna have to do more than two coats of this Fair Maiden Lucky Charm polish here. It looks pretty. opaque here on two so it's fair maiden lucky charm yeah opaque on two on this one that's really pretty just a beautiful light mint green with gold reflected shimmers to it like almost micro glitter it's beautiful really loving that one and then if you put a little shamrock charm on there oh be adorable all right, let's pop uh, one more layer of this lavender color on here, just so we can see. And one more of the Aurora Bridge to Cinematic Universe and see just what we can get out of a third coat on this one. And then this one, you might be benefit from like a glitter polish topper that would make it smooth across the top. Because this one is gonna be a little chonky chonky monkey. So this is that Scofflaw Polish Le Vain de Francais. So it's a pretty one. And then let's finish off with the third and final coat of Aurora. Bridge to the Cinematic Universe. Oh yeah. This one too would benefit from a glitter grabber top coat situation. Which I want to say that Glisten and Glow might have one of those. If you catch polish, pick up the off and off for those as well. So this is that Bridge to the Cinematic Universe. Super pretty. Super pretty. So. Very, very nice color. Yeah. So that's it for February polish pickup. I'll have one more polish uh, swatching video coming and that'll have my four polishes from ha Hella Handmade Creations. Um, and that was for January. Those always take a long time to come in because I think they come from like Hawaii. So I'll get those swatched up for you here in the next video and then I'll get that one loaded here either this weekend or the beginning of next week. Or maybe I'll even upload it today. Anywho, uh, thanks for watching today guys and have a good one.